Hi everyone, welcome to Lily's Design. Today, I'm gonna to show you step-by-step -step instructions on how to make these shorts. I'm also including how to distress these jeans. If you look down below in the description, you will find my free PDF sewing pattern. Print it out and let's get started. Once we have our pieces cut out, we're gonna start off with the front of the shorts and we're gonna sew right down the center front seam. I pinned this already and you wanna make sure it's right sides together and I give it a 1 4th seam allowance on this pattern. We're gonna open it up now. That's what you should have. Put these aside. And now we are going to open up our pocket facing. We're going to flip it over so that we have right sides together. And then we will pin it. You might want to make sure this is open in the back. And I sometimes use these clips and I'll list this down in the description. I love these clips. They're great. And if you want to get them, you can find it down below. So I usually pin right there in the center or clip it. You can pin this a little bit better than I am. I'm doing a real quick job just to move this video along. Okay, we'll take it to the sewing machine. Okay, we're just going to flip it around and we want to make sure we push on the corner so they come out and if they're really stuck in there you can always use an old paintbrush the end of an old paintbrush to push it through okay and now we'll take it to the iron board and press it down And use some water in your high setting. Okay, let's go ahead and get our top of our waist. And we're going to make a bias tape, single fold bias tape. And what we're going to do is fold this over a half and then fold the other side over in a half. Spray some water. And you don't have to be accurate on this half because you're not going to get it perfect. Just try to eyeball it as best as you can. And press as hard as you can. Flip it over, wet it, and press hard. Okay. We'll put that aside. Let's go to the sewing machine. We're going to stitch one fourth from the edge. This will give us a top stitch. Now we're going to take the front of the pocket, flip over. As you notice, there's a curve here and there's a curve here. So with right sides together, we're going to match it up and then pin it. And make sure you don't have any material caught up in it when you pin it or when you sew it. Okay. To the back. All right, let's sew it and make sure this is back. And see, I didn't get anything back there caught up. And All right. So that's done. So 
so we want to show it facing up. We're going to take the back of our shorts and we're going to make sure the flat is in the center and we're going to match up our side seams. Right sides together. And pin it. And we can go ahead and do the other side too and pin it. All right, we'll sew those each side. Okay, we're going to open that up, flip it over, and we're going to fold down these flaps like that, and then we're going to sew straight down. You can pin it if you like. We're going to do both sides. All right, flip it over and flatten your seams as best as you can. And now we're going to take the top of our waist and we should go about a half an inch. We could leave about a half an inch to start off with right there. And then we're going to pin right where the crease is going to be. Let's sew right where that crease is, right down that crease. All right, turn it over. And then we're going to open this part up and then fold it over this material if we can. Just like that. Now we're going to fold it just like that. And then we're going to do two top stitches. Now we want to make sure that we have this on top of that seam right there to cover those stitches. So take a pin and pin it to make sure that that's where you're going to get. Let's take it to the sewing machine. We're going to sew right here on the bottom first and then we'll do the top. Okay, there's the bottom one. And now we'll do the top line. So we got top and bottom, fold it over, and we're not doing anything with these straps yet. We're going to leave them as is. And we'll pin this. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to start a stitch right at this edge right here. And we are going to come down here, whoops, into the crotch and stop. So start right there. Okay, so you see we have the two seams, side seams are here, and these are the crotch, the short ends. We are going to put those together, and try to open your seams again. Pin it. And then we're going to sew straight across. All 
All right, let's turn it inside out. Now we're going to cut one flap and we're going to cut it flushed with this seam right here. And this one we're going to leave hanging a little bit. So let's do one at a time. Let's start with the inside one. Cut it. And then we're going to either surge this or overcast if you have a sewing machine. If you don't have an overcast, you could try a zigzag, but if all else fails, you can just hand sew it closed. Okay, and that's what you'll have for the inside. Okay, before we cut the other strap, let's decide what we want to use first. You can use Velcro or you can use snaps. I'm going to use snaps, but if you use Velcro, you want to measure a piece that you're going to use, just a little piece, and then cut your strap right there. The snap is not going to take much, so I'm going to cut it right here. And then I'm going to serge that side just like I did the other side. Okay, we're all done with the shorts. The only thing we have to do is distress the jeans. As you can see, I did an overcast in the back of this, and then I added snaps. And if you like, you could use Velcro or you can use a hook, whatever you like to do back there. Here are a few tools you will need to distress your jeans. The scissors, and you don't need all of this stuff, just a few things. There's a seam ripper. And if you have a piece of wood block that you can fit in between the short legs, that would be great, or something else as we will be using a knife or a rotary cutter and we don't want to damage the surface that is down below. All right, let's get started. I have a serrated knife here and we'll just go ahead and you can just scrape the edges and go this way and just try out different ways. Now this is going to cause a pretty good mess, but a vacuum will clean it right up. You can also take a rip cutter and just put it through the material and kind of give it a little bit of rip there. Like run through here to give it that little damaged look. So. All right, now I'm gonna show you how to get the white threads that show through, just like this one. Now this is a little bit of tedious work and to start out with you can use scissors or you could use the rotary cutter. I'll show you how to cut it first with the scissors. You're just going to take a snip and cut it and then go across. And it depends how long you want to do it. The rotary cutter is a lot easier and just take it and just and I'll do about three strips and and what we're gonna do is oops got it cut there you're gonna pull out a few of the white threads Because we, the white threads go this way and the blue threads go this way. So, so we want to get a few out. This way we can grab with our tweezer the blue thread. And you might be careful when you use this not to pull this off too much. The white thread. I like to see how if you don't pull too hard you won't rip it all right now that we got a few there you see these blue ones and we need to get the first one out and then the rest come out pretty easy but the first one is always a problem and there you go there's the first one 
then sometimes you can pull two at a time pretty much you're gonna pluck away just like a chicken pluck 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 <laughs> and this does take a little bit of time you can do this in front of the TV and if you want now you can start using your fingers But you can see where the blue runs through there. And that's what you're pulling out. All right, you get the basic idea of how you do that. And then you do that same with these two other strips. And if you would like more strips, you can do that. All right. So I'll do this off camera and come back and show you. Next, I'm going to show you how to do the knife. The knife works a little bit quicker. You kind of have the same effect. And what I do is I'll cut like I'm cutting through, like a steak. And if you like, you can practice on some sample material or scrap material. And once you scrape that off, then take your knife and go this way. Let's see, you're getting to see the white already. And then saw, I call it saw. <laughs> okay, and I'll do this off camera too. And what I also like to do is to make the pockets look a little rough. This gives a little more realistic effect when you do that. But be careful, your stitches are right there. And so, once again, I'll saw. You kind of get the idea of that. And I'm going to do this, like I said, off camera and then come back. This way I can save time and make this video as short as possible. Okay be right back okay she is all done and she's ready for summer on the one side I used tweezers to pluck it out and on the other side I used a knife to scrape it now you can choose one or the other or you can do just like me and do both all right guys I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did make sure you hit the like button and if you'd like to see more of my videos you'll want to hit the subscribe along with the bell this way, you'll be notified when my next video comes out. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. Have a great day. Bye-bye.